this is a list of our local king rubber stamp. Did you miss me? I haven't done any tutorial for one week, almost 10 days. I hope you do miss me. Okay, so today I am going to show you something very interesting, I hope. I am going to show you how to create your own um, wrapping paper. So sometimes if you just need some wrapping paper for a gift and you don't want to spend the time, I like can spend the time or money to buy the wrapping paper. So today I'm going to show you how you can use a rubber stand to create a one of the kind wrapping paper. And then it's very easy, it's very simple to make and the material list is just a plain newspaper that you can buy from Michaels. And they come like a big pack and you can make as big as you want. You can wrap any kind of gift you want to. So what do you use a rubber stand for? Do you use a rubber stand to make a card, scrapbooking pages? Or you can use your rubber stand to create a beautiful wrapping paper. Actually, um, I do have a customer, she used a rubber stand to create a ceramic. And let me go to digging my photo library if I can find it. I'm going to show you what did she do use, uh, what, what did she did um, with the rubber stamp. And I also have a customer that use a rubber stamp to make a jewelry. So that in, um, that's, a, um, you have to use some kind of chemical to etch in the, the metal. I have a customer that use rubber stamp to create a baking product like a cookies so you know rubber stain is not just for making a car you can do a lot of stuff and if you want to see more tutorial like how you can use a rubber stand beside the car or scrapbooking page leave me a comment let me know so this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. If this is the first time you watch your Local King's uh, online tutorial channel, YouTube channel, um, this is a channel that I am sharing all the awesome tips, great ideas, and uh, so that's started. The material list is so simple. You don't need anything fancy. If you don't have a hummingbird, that's okay. I think a dragonfly, butterfly, flowers, they all do the beautiful, they can all create a beautiful um, wrapping paper. Uh, if you want to see more, leave me a comment, let me know, I will create more. So we are going to use at least a fl uh, and fly and steam and die cut. If you don't have a die cut, that's okay. So we're going to use these awards background. These awards background is my number one cell uh, background steam. It's just pretty with everything. We are going to use uh, um, some plain newspaper car, um, newspaper. So. I don't know, can you still get newspaper or not? If you can get a newspaper, just grab a newspaper, even though they have some print, right? Just stamp some image, and then I think that will create a beautiful wrapping paper too. So the impact, only one, uh, two impact, one version mark block. You can use any block impact. I like a version mark because the color is a solid, it's very heavy, it's dark. And my favorite impact, learn London frog, no London frog. If you want to know how, uh, um, uh, if you want to know who is London frog, go to the London. Uh, go to not go to London. Go to local King's online TV library. Find the uh, meet Mr. London frog tutorial. You want to see that? It's very funny. And then I'm going to um put the number of this link uh this tutorial. You can find out. Who is the London Frog? You are going to love Mr. London Frog. Okay, so, and then to reinker, if you don't have a reinker, you can use a watercolor. You can use uh, alcohol ink, just to color, just to uh, um, make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, so first, we need a, a gift. We, like this one, I have, you know, it's, it's just empty box. So, you can actually, you know, the, the new spring paper is, uh, if you go to Michael, you can actually find it. So it's not uh, really hard to find. You can go to Yuha. Okay, so you can even use uh, like a tracking, like a tracing paper. So I have uh, this uh, uh, mushroom, you know, it's a uh, mushroom, right? So I am going to just use this, uh, this uh, box. Okay, and then so you can create a larger sheet to color your, um, to cover your gift. If uh, you give it like a, a little bit bigger, the newspaper size is not as big as you want to, just uh, do two sheets. 
Okay, so and then you can just uh, over layer, you can pack that. Okay, so the first thing, so we got to make sure my newspaper is big enough. Plain newspaper is big enough. So I'm kind of just, uh, okay, already folding down. So I don't need that big. I just uh, think that's good enough. That's good enough. So I don't need that size. So you just uh, fold it. You don't have to trim it, okay? And um, this newspaper is actually pretty thin it will do the job but uh, if you have uh, some extra okay just leave it don't trim it it's actually give a little bit support okay let's see so and then make sure you have a big enough okay so that's going to be my wrapping paper and then there's uh, too many different different way to do it I have uh, my hummingbirds here. It's a very cute set. Let me show you the package again. So it's a hummingbird with a bird feeder, and uh, like I say, I am going to use the same stamp and the kind of create a more project. So helping you save a little bit of money. So don't panic because uh, I see I receive a um, few of the email from from you guys say, Lisa, I got to start watching your tutorial. Why? Because you just make your you you just make your product so in interesting. Make me feel like I can do it, and I just keep shopping and shopping. Uh, well. It's good to support us, but I don't want to put you into trouble. So that's why I am trying to stick with uh, like uh, one set and create a few different projects. So that way, you know, it can um, just, uh, you know, make you not to spend too much money. Okay, so let's do this. We are going to use the version of mine. So basically, you are kind of just in, just uh, ink, uh, just kind of stamping all your background. And I show you, I actually try the different colors and then I like the black the best. Okay, so you kind of just stamp like this, right? But you know me, I'm kind of, if I can finish it in one step, I will never <laughs> work like a two step to get there. Okay, so next I am going to need the, um, bigger color block I'm kind of like a lazy I actually want to do like a three together so I'm kind of just uh, uh, organizing my hummingbird like this okay so use a little bit bigger acrylic block okay and then make sure they are uh, stick on the acrylic block Okay, let's see what we do. So this way we just ink or stamp different direction. Instead of like a one, 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 we can do like a three, 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 three. So we just uh, kind of fit it out all your plain newspapers here. So sometimes a little bit off the paper, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. There you let go. Okay, so let's do keep going. And then I think uh, this uh, project, it will looks awesome with uh, Dragonfly. Okay, and then like I say, I am going to do more. So just uh, do that. Okay, so I think that's pretty much about it okay so fill it out all of them and then we are going to use my words back on hand where is it cool? okay so this one you probably is a good idea to have a bigger color block okay so it kind of just a stamping here there okay okay Okay, like these. Let's uh, have a uh, one more. And one more. See? We are building up our own pattern paper and then that looks really pretty already. And I'm going to show you one that I um, 
I create with the color, but I like the black only. Okay, and then, so I need a three Daika Hummingbird, right? So I already stamped it, and then I already die cut it. And I just found out, if you found out your wrapping paper is kind of empty, so you are going to use the, your die cut as a stencil. So I am going to use my little Mr. London Frog. Okay, so we're going to just uh, kind of, I show you, kind of tapping it. Give it a little bit more. Can you see? Oh, can you see? I have to do a little bit here. Okay. Let me see. Oop. Can you see that shadow? Okay. So if you find out that's a little bit too plain, you just using this cutting template. Okay. Kind of rubbing. So it's very easy, it's just like a, I think that will be an awesome, you know, it must be somebody special that you are spending the time to create uh, this beautiful wrapping paper. Okay, so that's almost there. Okay. One more thing, I still find out it's kind of, you know, something missing. I'm going to give a little color. So you're going to have a quarter block and I have two ink pack. This is a Marvy ink pack, uh, discontinue. I mean, I, I, I get rid of all my ink pack. I move to Memento. So any kind of ink pack, they can work. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can use a watercolor, but if you use a watercolor, just be a little bit careful because we don't want it too much. We just want a little bit. And I am going to grab uh, my mini mushroom here. Okay, so just a little bit water. You start with a lighter color first. You don't want to too much, okay? And then we're going to just kind of give it a little bit splash. Wow, it's amazing. Let me bring a little bit closer to you. Can you see? Okay, so one or two color, they would. My magic mushroom. Oops. Oops. Deeping one, wrong one. Okay, so I do one light color and the one dark color. This is the number 13 ochre and the number 6 brown. You got to add a little top bit water but not too much okay because we are using these newspaper they are not very they, uh, they cannot hold in the water okay that's it let me see well if you want to give a little bit brushing some color nah no good okay so that's good enough and let me show you isn't that beautiful? Okay, so that's a pattern paper. And then if you want to, you know what? If it's a birthday gift, so what you can do is you can even printing some birthday thank you. Um, where is the okay? So if you want to, just add a little bit. Birthday. Oh, I think that's really pretty. Like uh sentiments you can do that too ah! okay I made a booboo here but that's okay so when you're wrapping it just hide in that place things happen no big deal okay so I think let me show you it actually looks better when you get it close okay so this is just a black um color with a little bit splash and um, brown splash and then i did uh create some kind of green one but uh, i like the black better what do you think 
Okay, and then I'm going to wrapping it, and then I'm going to just die cut my three hummingbird, and then we will see what's look like. Voila! Look at the package. This package just make uh, your gift going to look so expensive and awesome. So that's today's tutorial. Oops, something very simple and easy. And uh, the only one thing you got to remember is this uh, newspaper print on um, paper is not is very is thin is not is fragile. So you can actually fold in them and to make make it like a two sheeter, or just be careful any glue. Once when you put on top, don't try to remove it because it's going to um, ruin your paper. So rubber stamp, good for everything. And let me working on the next tutorial. I hoping I can come up with something you need. So this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stamp. Hoping you like today's tutorial. Let me know you want to see more. I will be back. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.